I just missed that. Yes, we're so glad to have uh, Dr. Juan Manuel Fercom Perez. Mm -hmm. uh, so is that my pronunciation? Yeah. Is, uh, very, is very, very okay. good. All right. Okay. So, uh, uh, Dr. Fercom Perez uh, was awarded by SEV uh, 2023 for the Special Achievement Award. And today we're glad to have uh, him as our uh, uh, guest, special guest. And we have a number of questions uh, to ask uh, Juan and, and for his um, expertise, opinions. And I think it's important for the field. Uh, so uh, Dr. Juan Manuel Fercon Perez is a uh, IK, Asperger, a research professor and he's a group leader of exosomes and the lab and head of uh, metabol metabolomics platform at CIC Bao Agum. BRTA in Bilbao, Spain, and his research interests including identification of a minimally invasive biomarkers for different pathologies, including haptic, infectious, and neurological disorders, and the studies of extracellular vesicles, including exosomes and body fluids metabol metabolomics. So yes, so we, we're very glad. Uh, so my name is William Xiang, I'm a professor at School of BME and the Medex Research Institute at Shanghai Jiao Tong University. And my research is interested in including lung prostate cancer progression and treatment resistance and finding novel targets. And, and also in particular, I'm also interested in uh, the exosomal biology and its applications. Um, so this is so much about myself. So let's just get started to the questions. Uh, the first question is, uh, First of course, uh, congratulations uh, to Juan, uh, to you on winning uh, this very special achievement award. Could you please share your feelings about winning this award and you, as well as your research progress and achievements? Juan, please. Uh, first of all, thank you for the invitation and, uh, and thank you very much for, for this initiative and for allow me, I mean, in this interview, I am very happy to do it. Um, Regarding the awards, I mean, for me, it was a very uh, nice event, a very nice moment, because it's like a, a lot of effort that I I put in, in the extracellular vesicle field many, many, during many years, because since 2005 that I start my group in, in, in Spain, in Bilbao, then many effort also with the community trying to to help also in many times to the ICEF society in in education with uh, participating in the different committees and trying to organize the meeting in in Barcelona also as chair so and also with the rigorous standardization uh, establishment of, uh, of of the subcommittee all these activities and always in connection with the with ISF, for me it was very good to see the, the reward in this uh, achievement, in this award achievement. I mean, I'm very happy. I'm very, very, very happy. I, I didn't expect it, but it was very happy for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. So um, I will just follow. Uh, and the next question is that um, we are aware of your current research on our progenitor cell mm -hmm. line derived small extracellular vesicles and exosomes as a treatment mm -hmm. for a wound. What are the advantages of EVs compared to other treatments? This is a very, uh, I mean, it's an interesting question. And I have to say that um, this is an in collaboration with a, a group in, 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 in Vitoria here in Spain, in, in the pharmacy the, uh, hospital, uh, pharmacy department. It, it is, I mean, these days there are a lot of interest in the extracellular vesicle as therapeutic applications, particularly in the uh, use of mesenchymal stem cell derived. Okay, stem cell. Why? Because they looks like uh, they they can prevent some of the putative problems that uh, has the cells, as they can be uh, tumoral or maybe they can induce change that uh, formation of different type of um, uh, cell derived, no, not cell derived, but the, looks like the, the activity is because the, the, the cell secret the activity out. And then 
this activity can be associated to the extracellular vesicle. And this is the, the, the what it looks happening in the last years that the, 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 the community is, is already yeah. observing. Um, and yes, the idea is that is that these vesicles could contain the activity of the, of the cells. So then try to avoid many of the cells problem. We can use just the, the vesicle and the in, a, in this particular work, what we did was to, to compare the oral, I mean, the, the, what is the, the hair follicular uh, derived mesenchymal stem cells with the conventional adipose derived stem cell and looks very, very similar in the, at least in the, in the test that we have uh, performed of uh, good, in, good healing or uh, uh, growing uh, proliferation, inducing, Modul uh, immunomodulator cap capacity. So, in this particular work, we, we show that the, these two different vesicles, extracellular vesicles coming from these two different uh, mesenchymal stem cells, are valuable for 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 therapeutic purpose. Is it one? Mm -hmm. So this is the nature of the mesenchymal stem cells, in a way. Mm -hmm. like, um, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Great. So. We just uh, move to the next question. And uh, so uh, there is a growing interest in the reproducibility of extracellular vesicle studies. And this is actually critical. And could you please share the challenges and solutions for the reproducibility of extracellular vesicle studies? Yeah, this is a, a very, very <laughs> difficult and important question. No, I mean, this is a very important question. I think it's one of the, in, the, in our field, in the extracellular vesicles, is what we need to show to the to the community, to the rest of the community, to the, all the agencies, uh, physician, all the people that we are reproducible. So we have methods, we have characterizations, we are able to produce in a big uh, scale uh, extracellular vesicle reproducible thing. Because if not, we are not. I mean, is is going is not valuable for the society if we cannot do it reproducible. It's difficult, require a lot of effort for all the community, a lot of a lot of money for the funding, because uh, I think we need a lot of multi-centric uh, experiment and multi-centric studies in which starting from the same sample, applying different technologies or the same technology, but in different in different uh, centers, we are able to arrive to one. Same, same characteristic and same properties uh, mm -hmm. preparation of extracellular vesicle. Mm -hmm. uh, or well, we need to, to also to, to be able to report very well how we, we are doing the, the preparation, the purification, characterizations, the storage. So still a long uh, track to do, but I think with the with the International Society for Extracellular Vesicle and the initiative that they are taking with the rigor and standardization subcommittee so initiative is slow, but as you know, all the things uh, has a starting point, then a long travel to do. But at least I think the the, the is is in place. What is yes, what is important? Please. So um, the solution is like a, a common under, understanding and also. Uh, the uh, joint effort uh, joint in the effort. research community to yeah to share to to update and to upgrade uh, these uh, experiment procedures and in yeah. particular paying attention to some uh, key key steps or, yeah. or, or procedures that in the in the, in, the, in the process. So, um, but do you foresee yeah yeah w w in, in, in with this regard? So, uh, how 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 long? Would you think that, like, when these kind of like a standard uh, procedures will be in place, like in five years but, or ten years? I think will be for for some for for some. Uh, I mean, uh, there will be different different part, different aspect mm -hmm. that need to be very well controlled. The pre clean the pre. Mm -hmm pre-analytical before, I mean, all the process of the obtention, extraction and the sample, all this uh, uh, process, how the vesicle, extracellular vesicle are produced and how they are characterized and how they are storage, all this process 
need to be taken into account. And for some of the application will be earlier than for others. I don't know, starting from uh, mesenchymal stem cell, for example, I think it's, it's going to be more quick, more, more, quick, more yes. quicker mm -hmm. because because the, mm -hmm. the condition for the mesenchymal stem cell are more, more uniform, more homogeneous. So then uh, how you produce, how you um, storage, all this, I think if we are, uh, if we join effort, I mean, if there are this effort, five years could, could be one mm -hmm. specific mm -hmm. method, a specific product, a specific application. Of course, very not the more complex application, mm -hmm. but yes, simple and very uh, quiet. I mean, not quiet, but very controlled. This is what yeah. we need to start yeah. and to, to, to be reliable in the future. Yeah, yeah. So okay. I think our okay. journals, as a, a major contributor to the field, should also advertise. Yeah, yeah the, the of course. The aspects. It's yeah, yeah. yeah, it's important to be to 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 do the yeah. aware or I mean to to say all the all the community what are the important points and how yeah. how to 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 try to do it and to to yeah. create the the platforms in order mm -hmm. to to foster that join initiative and to foster these things to foster the yeah. the, the 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 join effort to 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 validate mm -hmm. and to create. Uh, good, 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 good resource for for yeah. the community, and also to uh, in all this process we need also the the not just the researchers, also the contact with the agencies, or also the contact with the industry. So yes, there are many mm -hmm. inter interactors that need to be yes. together, and yes. I think this is what, and it is not easy because all the all the um, timings, all the. Uh, yeah. um, let, let's say the focus yeah. not always yeah. is the same, but try to but, to get the same. Yeah, but once we need to like move it into translational aspect, so into really application, so this is a required. So 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 we, we must do that. Yeah. 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 Sooner or later. The... Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so need, need we, to... we move on to yeah the next question and uh, uh, mm -hmm. the first question is as uh, reliable biomarkers. What are the prospects and the challenges of extracellular vesicles for clinical applications? Oh, yeah, this is also a big question. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, by, by, from the biomarker point of view, we also need reproducibility. We need a good uh, method that uh, able with this, I mean, reproducible and sensitive enough to to be done in different parts of the world, different hospital, and always you obtain the same. It's true for the biomarker point of view, you need also to have a, a good quantitative uh, analysis. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the end, you need to say uh, above this number is good or not good. So at least you need to, to have this number. I mean, sometimes uh, biomarker you need to quantify because you can do relative in order to discover but once you you want to really launch this to the to the to the diagnostic uh, world and be applicable, you need to quantify. And for that, you need reference materials. You need a good detection method. You need so there they are a long long process in order to have a reliable and competitive and also valuable for the society uh, biomarker. Mm -hmm. So is my and extracellular vesicle is is one of the has, uh, uh, I mean, uh, it's, go it's good to have a biomarker associated with the cerebral vesicle. Many times the people try to go to the to to the to what is uh, inside the vesicle, but the vesicle is also a platform where many other proteins and molecules are are binding. So yes. this is also valuable as biomarker, as soon as they are reproducible. And to do reproducible, the techniques, the technology. Is what mm -hmm. we need also to to think and how to 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 perform it to, in so order to make the, it more detectable. Yeah. yeah. So we, we need to take the vesicle as a whole, as a, yeah. an an entity that we should like uh, check all these uh, quantitatively, uh, their the molecules, right, the levels and that associated with the clinical information, and that could be used uh, for uh, like diagnosis, prognosis. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, there are many. I mean, I think the, the vesicles are can be diagnosis for many, many diseases because at the end, 
the cells suffering these uh, the diseases are the ones that are at least releasing mm -hmm. some vesicles mm -hmm. that could be indicative of this or so applicable mm -hmm. to many diseases and to many processes is following therapeutic interventions decision taking to the decision making for the physicians so i think will be very valuable but technology has to improve because yep. sensitivity and capture and, and specificity to yeah. specificity to to interrogate yeah. what mm -hmm. we we want to interrogate so that is, is the point yeah. mm -hmm. So uh, next question is that, as we know, you have made significant contributions and participations in various areas of EVs since 2005. Mm -hmm. You just mentioned that. This is actually one of the early runners in the field, I think, in EVs. So could you please elaborate on some of your key contributions mm -hmm. and notable projects over these many years? So the, this is a, also a complex complex question because since 2005 many many projects i have been involved in that i think the the one of my what i think was the description and the foster and pushing the hepatocyte release vesicles hepatocyte release vesicles starting from primary cultures so this mm -hmm. was i mean characterization of what mm -hmm what will be the, the, the interest uh, of the of these vesicles in the world of the hepatocytes and the liver mm -hmm. and the and, and, uh, in the last years in the what is the impact of these vesicles in other tissues so hepatocyte release vesicles over mm -hmm. other tissues what are the systemic effect these are the mm -hmm. last years have been the that. in mm -hmm. prostate cancer also I have uh, make a, what I think good contributions regarding the in the in the characterizing the small the small proportion i mean there's what are the extracellular vesicle but the smaller one so that mm -hmm. one when you go to the urine samples they are different between benign hyperplasia and prostate cancer patients and mm -hmm. also the composition of this by by transcriptomics and proteomics also has been a good i think contribution and we we still follow the, the this part who try to as always, is not quicker to 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 translate all the all the results that we done, but this is a another part of a, of a contribution. Then I collaborate with many many groups trying to help. They they have the the expertise in the disease, and I have the expertise in the vesicle. So let's let's combine and and, and like this, I, I have been involved in in bladder cancer also in in neuronal uh, many. Uh, neuronal areas, I mean, neurodegenerative diseases. I have participated in the characterization of the role that this vesicle could be involved. Development with fly, for example, trying to, to see how these vesicles can are involved in the Hitchcock, in the Hitchcock uh, pathway development of uh, using drosophila as, as pathway. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think I have many, but of course, the application of the metabolomics to the extracellular vesicles wars starting in 2012 with the uh, because proteomics trachectomics was more or less advanced and then the incorporation of metabolomics also uh, give more information of of what but also i always try to be uh, very uh, in my in my research very uh, how you say uh, communicative in the sense of uh, negative controls. I think with the vesicle, oh, yeah. with the extracellular mm -hmm. vesicles, we need mm -hmm. a lot of negative controls. And we we are we are in the noise when, when, when we are characterizing mm -hmm. we, with different techniques, we are really many times in the noise. So we need we are we need to be very sure that what we are seeing is is due really to the vesicle mm -hmm. to the vesicle and not to the technique because the noise. And that mm -hmm. requires a lot of con negative controls. So mm -hmm. I um, is what I try to always to 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 keep uh, and play. This I, I think I will summary on that my my contribution so far. So I think and also the, the in participation in ISF and try to to go ahead with many many initiatives and and, mm -hmm. and, and suggestion. And I I am happy to, to yeah. do that. I, I, hmm. I'm I'm so glad to hear all these um, 
work、uh-huh. over the years, and these are very important. And I think you have pointed and and also advanced.、Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. For, for, for the field. Yeah, yeah. And also methodologically, we, I mean, I have also contributed with the with one of the first application of the cryoelectromicroscopy to see vesicles, the extracellular vesicle.、Mm-hmm. Also, the the the, the, the bio distribution. One of the also methods in order to follow the vesicle without、mm-hmm. without incorporation anything, just replacing、mm-hmm. some of the tyrosine by yodo, and you can follow in the the in the mouse. Where is the real vesicle in the、mm-hmm. through the through the body, and also、mm-hmm. contribution to the single single vesicle analysis by by、mm-hmm. by in collaboration with、uh, Sergey Krulik, the application of Raman technology, Raman、yes. to characterize、mm-hmm. single particle or at least、mm-hmm. to to have the proportion of the different type of subpopulations in the sample. So I think、uh, many different contribution different areas. Uh, applications,、mm-hmm. methodology, and,、yeah. and 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 then uh, uh, characterization. Science and of... technology, yeah, yeah. Te- techniques,、so. instrument, instrumentation, all, analysis, or many many aspects of curiosity. Researches. Always yeah, the curiosity, curiosity has has been the the、Juvenil, curiosity. The curiosity and, has and driven you. The, the、uh, good thing, the good thing the about、years. the extracellular vesicles, the good thing about the extracellular vesicles is you just need, I mean. To know, to find people that are with you and are expert in other areas, and to apply to the extracellular vesicles, because at the end is new, new, new knowledge and things that can be in the future very valuable. I think this is my my view. Thank you. Yeah, this is really insightful. Okay, so I'll come to the sixth question, and it is: What are the specific plans for the future research? And I think from last question, you've already touched upon. Some of,、uh-huh. of 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 the the, the, the plans, but what、yeah. are the specific I mean, plans? Yeah, the future the future of the extracellular vesicle is reproducibility has to be one of the pillars, and one has、mm-hmm. to be a lot of effort and require、mm-hmm. a lot of funding. And I think ISF is、uh, is the is has to play a, a very important role in this process in the in the、mm-hmm. reproducibility. The other is development of new technologies. Technologies、mm-hmm. that can be more、uh, sensitive and more specific, and more.、Uh, what I think is the single vesicle analysis, because so far we think the the biomarker as very isolated things, but the biomarker are together in vesicles, and the、mm-hmm. combination of of what is inside this vesicle that is the maybe is one vesicle. I mean, going to the stream, maybe you 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 just has one vesicle that is the diagnostic one, because if you are able to capture that, because they have the signature that is the informative about the disease, you you need to go for that. But we need technology and we need、uh, we need a lot of、uh, effort from the, from this part. And the other、uh, other pillar is to communicate to. To be, I think one good thing about the extracellular vesicle is that there is a space still for many, 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 many researchers and many young people and、uh, to, with fresh ideas and, and because sometimes you establish one one rule that maybe is not the rule and, and this we, we need to be careful with the extracellular vesicle because it's so new and we are we, are, we don't have the,、mm-hmm. the, the right、mm-hmm. standards so. Mm-hmm. So it's the other part to be to be in my to keep to to keep、uh, thinking and an open still yeah. yes yeah and communicate yeah yeah okay so the next question、uh, the advice、uh, for scientists starting their journey in this field my my su- my advice is.、Uh, To be open and to to have a lot of is is very sometimes when we test the cellular vesicles you say belief is to see I think yes but also you need also to to have in mind that the, we are dealing with nano very small ones so、uh, we 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 need also to believe in our in what we are doing and. To 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 carry always the the positive and the negative controls. When you think experiments, always positive and negative controls. And 
uh, and uh, a lot of uh, uh, how do you say passion 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 in, passion. In, passion. Mm. passion is is fundamental in the in in this world in this particular in the structural vesicle because is so many times you don't see uh, positive results because you don't have the amount that you need you don't have so it's always a, a challenge when you are with cells when you work with cells you have a lot of material and you do uh, a lot of things you can do a lot of things with it with the extracellular vesicles if you want to do it with the pure preparation you want then you need to, to, to be very patient also because sometimes is it will happen and many times you, you need to go maybe with not so pure start with that in order to to, to start growing then so the decisions are uh, all maybe in parallel you need to to carry both in order to to create your positive uh, uh, positive spirit okay that help you because sometimes it's very frustrating to 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 work with extracellular vesicle because you don't you don't get enough amount you don't get the the the, the result that you expect. I always say that with the right controls, a bad result, a negative result is a good result. It is. But you need to carry the you need to carry mm -hmm. the right controls. Okay, yes. positive. It is and also negative. informative and gives it's, a lot of yeah. It's informative and also informative yeah. mm -hmm. for the community. Mm -hmm. And I think yes. we we also need to. We, I think, we need also to to feel the, this part in the in the community. How how you report negative results? I think it's an important yeah. point well, with the right controls, of course. Always. Yes, yes. But this is important. It's all good experiments, but with negative yes. results, to rule yes. out some of the hypotheses and can help uh -huh. the community to move forward. To move forward, yes. But I think the, this this yeah. field is very very. I mean, they are. A long track to do to do still. So for the young people, it's a very uh, a good area because so many things for mechanisms and and for discover that uh, is amazing. Yeah. So I, I think these are all the questions that have been prepared, and okay. uh, I'm not quite sure, Margie, if we have uh, some more time. So if you want, yeah. So we can have some interaction. So now it's a. Uh, like international traffic is uh, is open. I, in May, I visit to Europe, but not to Spain, okay. but to UK mm -hmm. and also Switzerland and also France. So, uh, Juan, you're welcome to visit. Yeah, China and the universities like Shanghai, Zhao Tong. Yeah, at yes. your convenient time. Yeah. So thank you, so, thank so, you very much. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, think so it, uh, mm -hmm. I think this okay. this uh, the all the uh, the good thing about our. Uh, communities that, that, that there are many uh, societies that are foster many workshops, many um, many congresses and, and things that allow to 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 have all the dynamics of the that require this field. So at the end, you mm -hmm. need to communicate, to contact, to interact. I know this new method. I I have this new marker, new reference. So. All this mm -hmm. is what we need. At the end, is a a joint effort because uh, one alone is not going to get that this extracellular vesicle go into translation or biomarker. So we need a lot of effort with that. Definitely, so, definitely, yeah, yeah. Fully agree with you um, on, on these um, points, and also hope that we can have like uh, more initiatives and, and also collaborations, yeah, in the future. Yeah, yeah. I think, and this is the other point: collaborations. So many yes. uh, collaboration is uh, amazing, and, and and is the way how to to move. Uh, so uh, it's difficult, but it's difficult. Sometimes it's difficult to 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 do collaboration because you are in many things. But at the end, it, it's worth it. It's worth it. Yes, it and is. this is why the, one of the, the special achievement award that I receive is is due also by, I think, the capacity to collaborate and to be open. Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. you need to be also not the first one in just to, to participate in the project. At the end, what is important is that the project go ahead. More than sometimes there is many egos that that, does, mm -hmm. that didn't allow to, to, to go ahead. At the end is the project who, who will give you the, the the final end and the society will be the reward for the society, a project that successfully has been done. 
it would be this. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for this wonderful interview and for your insightful answers. I think this is a summary of your like over like two decades of research in, in accelerated vesicles. And I wish all the like um, even better words coming from your group, more contribution to the field and more collaborations. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I think there will be an inspiration for young researchers you know, who want to join yeah, this uh, this community to do exclusive uh, uh, research. Thank you so okay. much again. Thank you very much. Thank you for the invitation. And, and this is a very nice initiative. Thank you. Yeah.